guys. I wanted to start this video out just by giving you a quick view of my vintage stereo system. Kind of go piece by piece, show you what I got, and kind of give you a little backstory on how I acquired them. Um, when it comes to vintage stereos, even though this stuff can all be really pricey, um, you don't have to spend a ton of money to get something like this. So, <clears throat> we got a Pioneer, reel to reel. This thing is a workhorse. This thing is badass. It's a model RT1020H. It does have the capabilities of playing the big 10 inch reels, which I love. It's only got two speeds though, high and low, which is like a three and a half and seven and a half, I think, something like that. Um, I love it. I actually got that by, I saw it in a pawn shop and remembered it and it went back a year later and it was still there. I was able to get that for uh, less than a hundred dollars, not including the reels. The reels I ended up scoring from an estate sale so that's where I got those but I ended up paying like five bucks a reel from the estate sale everything else has been picked via vintage stores or Craigslist uh, these coral these are coral uh, BX1200 speakers I don't have grills on any of my speakers because my daughter's cat will most certainly wreck them but the grills on these particular speakers are reversible one side's got the wood and then the other side's got the the carpet looking stuff but I really really like these speakers they sound really good I got these from a guy an old man on Craigslist who was selling them he actually brought them home from the war when he was fighting overseas um, these were picked at a thrift store so I got these for pretty cheap I cleaned up the cabinets as best I could, sanded them down, restained them, um, and they sound really good. Realistic Optimus 1Bs. I think there's also a Nova series that are the same exact one, but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. So I paid for these ones at the thrift store, probably less than 20 bucks for these. Uh, so 50 bucks for these, less than 100 bucks for that. Um, the Sony. The, the turntable, I wanted to make sure I went some, with something that was uh, serviced. So I did get this from Electric City Repair here in Westminster, Colorado. They do a really good job over there. Scored that for a really seriously good price, like less than 80 bucks. I think I paid for that. Um, the receiver is what started it all. It's actually my neighbor. I was kind of telling him how I was getting into vintage audio. And he said he had this in a spare bedroom. And... He just gave it to me. He just let me have it. And you can see um, me opening it up and cleaning it up on some of my other videos that I've put out before. Uh, this uh, Technics M44 uh, is pretty sweet tape deck. Um, works really good. Plays really good. Doesn't record super great, but I have another tape deck um, that I use for my recording. But it plays really good. Sounds good. And also it obviously looks pretty cool and goes with the rest of the system um, I got this also at a thrift store for less than ten dollars and it fully worked I didn't have to do anything to it I didn't have to change any uh, I didn't have to change any belts or anything like that uh, my cool lamp I scored from a thrift store uh, same thing goes with this CD player scored that for less than five bucks you know, I just want to have the CD capability since this uh, case, which the case itself also came from the thrift store. And I uh, wanted to make sure I filled up these and I wanted to just have that source available to me. So I am now in the process of collecting CDs again because I got rid of everything that I had before. So what I do is I play that through an aux cable here on my Sony receiver which is an auxiliary 2 port uh, which is kinda nice so I can plug my phone into that as well um, yeah so just goes to show you know e even though it is very lucky when you do find something at the thrift store 
Uh, if you go to them often enough and you look hard enough and you try, you can definitely find good stuff. And at the same time, you can still find, you may not find the receiver you want, but you can find a nice receiver, clean it up, resell it, and then save up the money to buy the receiver or speakers that you want. So that's how I do it. I pay for my hobby by buying and selling and reselling. And um, yeah, it's something that I just really love. It's just so much fun. Thanks for watching.